ACRN 16-257 is a phase two study exploring a, a slightly different approach than our traditional treatment paradigms for muscle invasive bladder cancer. Um, the concept behind this study is that we know that with chemotherapy after TURBT, when cystectomy is performed, there's a pathological complete response in the surgical specimen in 30 to 40% of patients. Um, now, paradoxically, we only know that after the bladder has been removed, but it really raises the question, are there a subset of patients who don't require cystectomy to achieve cure? And I think everyone acknowledges that there probably are. The challenge has been identifying those patients. And so we really need biomarkers to define those patients. Now, most of the focus has been on molecular or genomic biomarkers, and there's certainly an important role for developing those tools. But we have to recognize that our clinical response assessments are biomarkers as well. And so after giving systemic treatment and doing imaging and doing cystoscopies, that's all a biomarker that needs to be harmonized, um, needs to be defined, and we need to assess the performance characteristics of those measures in informing treatment decisions. So, so that's what we did in 16257. Patients with muscle invasive bladder cancer received four cycles of gemcitabine, cisplatin, plus nivolumab. They underwent clinical restaging, which included an MRI of the bladder, cystoscopy, uh, biopsies of the bladder, and urine cytology. If all of those assessments were normal, then they had the opportunity to not have their bladders removed. An additional eight cycles of nivolumab followed by surveillance. In patients who, had resi who, who didn't have a clinical complete response, cystectomy was recommended. So what we reported was that we enrolled 76 patients, 33 patients achieved a clinical complete response for a clinical CR rate of 43% and clinical CR predicted uh, benefit as we pre-specified in the study. Benefit was defined as being two years metastases free in patients whose bladders were left intact or having a pathological complete response if patients opted for immediate cystectomy. So the positive predictive value for that endpoint benefit uh, was 0 0.96. So clinical complete response is a biomarker uh, and a tool that has prognostic impact that could potentially be used to inform a risk-adapted, personalized treatment approach for muscle invasive bladder cancer instead of treating everyone the same way.